Hi, uh, so I'm Sadie and I'm presenting a proposal pitch for the workshop Hack Day. Um, so the basic idea is an online cheat sheet. Um, so that is a quick and accessible reference checklist uh, of good practice in the various different activities um, that could be conceived in, uh, to be involved uh, with developing software. So I propose to call it pair programming, uh, which isn't a typo, but it's in fact a deliberately bad pun based on the concept of uh, pair programming, as in P-A-I-R. Uh, which can provide a basic theme and some fruit-based imagery and corresponding colors um, to make a checklist, uh, which can otherwise seem a bit dry and unmemorable, uh, somewhat distinctive. Um, so my motivation for this idea was that we're in a time where hybrid working is commonplace, um, meaning that more people are working from home. Um, but working in a, in a close office environment provides so many opportunities to learn from colleagues just by observing how they work and what they do while they're working um, and direct mentoring. Um, and I think you miss out on quite a lot of that um, knowledge and skill sharing when you're working from home. Um, I know I do. Um, so I was hoping to initiate a community resource uh, with some generic tips that can hopefully help out on anyone who programs in or around research in particular, but just programming in general, perhaps, um, particularly those who are junior. I think they're most at detriment from, from the aforementioned loss. Um, so we cover both hard and soft skills. So hard skills such as writing and reviewing code, uh, as well as soft skills such as communicating about code in general. Uh, or software in general. Um, so I've already set up the infrastructure in the form of a web page um, shown in the screenshot on my slide. Um, so it's got a temporary home under my own GitHub user space. I hope we can move that to more central location when this is more mature. Uh, I want to make it sustainable by ensuring it's a working document. Um, so anyone can propose tips or changes via the standard GitHub workflow. Quickly, let me provide one example of guidance that would be on this cheat sheet. So use Git would be too specific and controversial, but use version control with a caveat that I've got on the slide. Uh, that could work, I think, but that's up for debate. Thank you.